statement, just give us an assessment of the team and how we're looking right now? Um, coming along pretty good. I know it's going to be a process. Uh, we have a lot of new guys. Uh, we're not young, but we're it's just new guys because we got two guys that transferred in last year that sit out, got a fifth year senior. Got another kid that transferred that, that's sitting out this year. He's with us also. Uh, Juco kid. So it's just new guys is the biggest thing. So learning the, learning the system is, is going to take some time. Talk about each of some of the newcomers real quick. Um, Maurice Taylor, really active, can play the 3 2, uh, really good defender, slasher, can make open shot. He just he wins. I mean, he just, you know, they did a good job at Kilgore. They won both years there. Uh, just one of them intangible guys. Daquan Brown, fifth year senior from Hofstra. Active guy, just gives us some length when we play the bigger teams, taller teams, non-conference and conference, and he's experienced. This is his fifth year, so uh, he's an experienced guy. Travis Elliott, transfer from High Point, 6'8", inside guy, gives us something we haven't had in the last couple of years, a guy that can score around the basket, play strong and physical, can guard other people's bigs. And, uh, Barry reminds me of, he said he transferred from the Citadel, he reminds me of Adrian, not as strong right now as Adrian, but it really gets to the basket, finishes. USA Today picked Bethune Cookman to finish last in the MEAC. How big of a motivational tool is that to you and your team? Uh, it's always motivational. I mean, I, I don't go by the predictions especially preseason, especially a magazine like that, because they don't really do their homework on, on who who is there. They don't know who you got, who you had sitting out. So they just kind of pick off of what you lost and what they think you have coming back. So uh, me, I picked this eighth. So I don't mind being picked low because it gives you motivation. I mean, I, right away I told the guys they picked this last, so I put it up in the locker room. So it just gives you, definitely gives you motivation. Talk about the new players, uh, returning players. You got Malik coming back, Ricky, Allen, and even Trap and Just talk about the returning players. Uh, really, the only known guys coming back that played a lot of minutes last year was probably Ricky and Malik. Malik played a lot towards the end. Trap's played a lot over the, over the last two years, but he's been injured. I mean, he's missed probably most of the last two seasons with knee injuries. So we're hoping to just keep him healthy, gives us outside shooting. Uh, looking for a big year from Ricky and Malik, uh, and also the new guys. I mean, they got experience. They're not they're not freshmen, so. You've had success in the past with you know the one year with with Breeze and everything like DC. Uh, I and mean, is it had a trend in basketball right now? Is that fifth year senior with with that still has one more year yet left? Well, at our level, I mean transfers and uh, JUCO guys and fifth year seniors, guys that are experienced are are valuable. Cause it's hard to get really good high school kids, so you try to, you know, you got to go a different route and do different things, kind of piece it together. Uh, is this is this the way you want to recruit, or is this more the way you had to? The way you have to. Yeah. I mean, football does it. They get a lot of transfers, but they're, you know, they can come in and play right away. Or our guys, if we get transfers, like I got the kid from Toledo. I wish he could be eligible this year. But he has to sit out. Who's that? Uh, Delano Deer, D E L I N O Deer, six nine kid, played two years at Toledo. Started as a freshman, but he's he's going to be pretty good in our our league. He can score the ball around the basket, really good touch. Just has to get stronger. And this is a good year for him to learn our system yeah. and get stronger. So who are the guys who were here last year who have the year of practice? Who, who could the Travis Elliott, mm -hmm. transfer from High Point, six eight. He played at Boyd Anderson. Uh, high school about three years ago, but he played a lot of minutes at High Point. He started a lot of games. Uh, and Barry Smith transferred from the Citadel, about so a six-five wing. So these guys not only have the experience elsewhere, but they have a year under your system. So yeah. You're counting on them. Right. So they got to come in right away and and produce. And 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 who are you looking at at least at the start of the season? Who we're going to come in right away and play a lot of minutes. Uh, the two transfers, the Juco kid, 
Who's that? Uh, Maurice Taylor from Kilgore. 6'4 wing. And then, of course, you know, the guys returning Ricky Trapp, Malik, Allen, and then. Freshmen are going to be pretty good, but, it, you know, I know it takes freshman time. They still freshmen. And you only have the two freshmen, right? Three. Three freshmen? Two from Toledo and then the kid from uh, Fishburne. So two freshmen from Toledo? Yeah, Toledo Rogers High School. They and played together all their, pretty much all their life. Now, now you say you pretty much have to have to do this, but... What does that do with continuity when you're bringing in, especially fifth-year guys that are one year, bringing in other guys for two years? Well, I mean, you, you still can have continuity because I still keep freshmen. I, I still, you know, I try to keep two, three freshmen, you know, so you can build the program. And uh, but the JUCO kids are important for us, and also transfers. You know, you try to get transfers with two years, at least two years, two, three years. Like the kid from Toledo have two years. And, and, you know, it's a big year for Ricky, obviously. It's kind of like with all of so many new players, he kind of has the keys to the right. team this year. So. Yeah, I mean, he, he Ricky's solid. He's not going to be a big numbers guy, but what he can provide is, is just the leadership. He knows everything he does, uh, and, he, and his toughness can rub off on other guys. He's done a really good job of stepping up in the leadership role. Um, so we're, we're just counting on him more so for the, the leadership and just the steady play at the point since he, he, he'll dominate the ball. And so you're looking for scoring, you're looking at some of those new guys? Yeah, it's, it's not, I don't, I don't think we have a guy that can just go out and get you 20 per se, uh, Adrian, last year. But I think we have multiple guys that, you know, can get you average, you know, 12. 10, 12 points, and, and, and that's a lot of times the best way to be because you can't key on one guy. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you got multiple guys that can average double figures. And how how is it a different kind of team this year with all the newcomers? I think we're bigger, and that was one of the areas I wanted to improve on because we played out of conference teams, non conference teams, and then teams like Morgan and Hampton, we usually had problems with them just because of their size. So I think we, we got bigger, but also uh, uh, we're tougher defensively. I noticed that right away, and we're emphasizing it. You know, we, uh, we were at the bottom of the league defensively last year, so we've really emphasized defending this year. And, and you're, you're talking about that you're emphasizing it, but it, is it the kind of thing a lot of times with defense that you just have to have that mentality coming in? You say he knows it right away. Yeah, it's part it's a part yeah. mentality, and you can tell, you can tell, I can tell right away that we got guys that actually take pride in in uh, competing on the defense end. So that's okay. a, that's a, bunch a good of guys thing. or anyone in particular. Uh, Mo's really good, really competes, and with his size, he can bother people. Maurice oh, Taylor. Okay. Um, Ricky, same way. Ricky's going to compete defensively. Um, Travis just gives us a post, a big body in the post that can move his feet. So he'll be able to, to bang with the bigger guys. He's 6'8", probably 250, and he's cut look like a football player. So that just helps us, especially inside, where we've, we've been hurt over the years. Okay. Um, hey, Coach, uh, D.Q. Brown, I understand he's an orphan, and without an A&B student. Yes, yeah, I mean it's a good story. I mean he just, uh, you know, it's a situation, tough situation, but he's he's done a good job. He's a good kid too, I mean, really good kid, uh, good personality. Uh, really wants to get his masters and also p pursue basketball overseas. Um, the guys like him. He's just a good teammate. I mean he just, he's just he's a good person. Elliott back as grand assistant. Yep, Stan's done a good job so far. Just his mentality is rubbing off on the guys. Like he, he's he's in the guys' ears when we're uh, off the court. And he, Stan was a guy that graduated in four years, so he he he's really I got him following the freshmen around and making sure they adjust because he really did a good job as a freshman when he came in. Yeah, 
and you got your same coaching staff uh, back. Uh, you, you've had a pretty stable coaching staff over the past few years. Yeah, I think continuity is is big, and uh, especially in basketball because you, the kids, you know, if you see different coaches each year, it just kind of you know we all know the same system. We know what each other thinks, so that's you know it just helps me. Coach. Um, a lot of Ohio the talk with Ricky, the Toledo connection, a couple of people said now, obviously Chris Warren's doing a great job recruiting up there. What makes Ohio basketball, high school basketball right now? Really I just think it's a mindset. Florida's a football state. I mean, don't tell me they got good basketball players, but it's really, you know, they got talented basketball players, but it's really considered a football state, a bunch of football players. Ohio's, I mean, they're known, Indiana is, is really known for the basketball toughness, just fundamentally, I mean, they, just, they really do a good job with the high school basketball in Ohio. And being from around that area, you know, I've seen it firsthand. So we just try to try to really tap into area where we have some connections. Sense of pride, G had a good season in New Zealand. Kevin Dukes had 20 points yesterday in his debut. A couple of your players overseas now. Talk a little about, you know, the opportunity they're getting out of well, it's a great opportunity because all them guys want to play professional basketball, whether it be NBA, NBDL, overseas. Not them, that's their dream. So, you know, like Darius and Adrian both graduated and then pursued their dream. I always tell them, tell the guys, you know, give yourself options. So, you know, this you can have overseas. If, if not, you have your degree, so you can go into the uh, workforce. I mean, as important as it is for us to you know, be competitive for the championship, you produced two master's degrees here with Breeze and with uh, Daryl last year. Is there a sense of pride in, in the fact that getting, things are getting done in the classroom as well? It's a great program. This is a great program to further your education. I'm even I'm in it this year. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I not only am I speaking about it, I'm actually in it. One of my assistants is also in it, uh, Montez Robinson. So I just think it's a it's a good really good program to further your education. Nowadays, you know, you got to go more further than a bachelor degree to kind of get the top job. So, any other questions for Coach Craig? So uh, Brown is also your classmate. So you guys can study together. Or yes, you know? Stanley and Brown are basically. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You guys lost a lot of your leading scores from last year. How were your newcomers like feeling from which you lost this year? Well, that was something I touched base on with Brent was, you know, you do a team we have this year, it'll be more by committee than one or two guys scoring points. And like I said, I like it that way because you can't just focus on one guy, take away one guy. You know, I, when we prepare for a team, they usually have one big score. It's easy for me to prepare for it, but when I don't know, you know, who's going to score, it's tougher to prepare for. Everybody good? Um, any players? Yeah. Brent, mm -hmm. Brent, 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 Brent. Oh, let's go with um, 